Hey, boss! Hey, boss! Dude, I can like barely film right now. I'm so jacked up. We are here in Irvine for the MCLA National Tournament. The Buffs are playing right now in the first round versus Florida State. A lot of good teams out here today. Just super pumped to be out here watching some lacrosse. It's really cool to have a national tournament in Southern California. There's four fields going on, two divisions in the MCLA. Lacrosse all day today, all day tomorrow, and then the championship game is over the weekend. It's a tournament where if you make it to the championship, you play four games in like five or six days. So it's pretty intense. And Samir and I both played in this when we were in college. So we're going to do the weekly watch from here today and check out some of the games. Oh, whatever you guys want to say, here it is. Uh, here it is. Shout out Bridgewater State Lacrosse, baby. Nice to meet you guys. Yeah. 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 Man, I love the MCLA. I'm sure you guys saw it. The clip was all over social media this weekend. Check out this buzzer beater. Turnover with the second to play. They let it go. Does it count? It does! UMass stuns Hofstra! Dan Muller does the job! This was UMass taking down Hofstra with a half-field buzzer-beater goal. Incredible, like unheard of. And in the conference tournament to take them to the conference championship. Easily the most talked about goal from the weekend. Crazy enough, that wasn't the only buzzer-beater from the weekend. Check out this one from Kyle Marr. Shot stopped by Kerry Reba. And this one from Providence versus Villanova. Reset the clock. He sends one in. Whoa! They scored! And one in! Yo! What's up? What's, up? What's happening? How you guys doing? Good, man. Good, man. How you doing? for life, boys. Yeah, These guys true. are representing Colorado. <laughs> Good people right here. Oh, yeah. Good people. We'll get back to talking about college lacrosse, but right now I want to talk about episode three of Drive about IMG Academy. Also, they're playing an episode of Drive from last year right now. Cool. Oh, driveception. <laughs> Did you just say driveception? Driveception, like talking about drive while they're playing drive. While they're playing drive, while we're in a truck that drives too much. If you haven't seen it, make sure to check out episode three of Drive, linked in the description and probably somewhere up here on the screen. Josh, what game are you about to film right now? Uh, we're gonna film this Georgia Tech game over here, and then I'm gonna take a look at this BYU game a little bit also. You think we could get like a highlight real quick to play? Or no, maybe. Well, that was a highlight courtesy of Josh. Thanks, Josh. A lot of country playing here. A lot of country music. <laughs> Which like doesn't strike me as a very California oh, this sort is, of thing. Who's that team? This is BYU, BYU Michigan State. Michigan State. That's a pretty good game. Yeah. Cool. Take a seat. All right. We're talking about college lacrosse, so we might be here for a little while. In college across this weekend, there was a ton of upsets. Probably the biggest one and the most exciting one to watch was Army taking down Notre Dame. Army won in overtime. Check out the game-winning goal. The dude just bulldozed in there. Knocked him totally out. Army though, not making the tournament. Messed up. Army got snubbed. Another upset from the weekend, Marquette took down Denver and ended up winning the Big East Tournament. Awesome to see Marquette make the tournament. And in probably one of the best college lacrosse games from this season, Maryland played Ohio State in the Big Ten Championship game. It was a back and forth game and Maryland ended up winning with this goal from Colin Heacock. I feel like the Big Ten was the best conference in lacrosse this season. It's like ACC and Big Ten, and I feel like together. I feel like the Big Ten is becoming the number one conference in lacrosse. So, which conference do you think is better? There's a poll up in the corner. Is it the ACC or the Big Ten? Okay, now they're like really pumping the Bruno Mars. Yeah, and it's like I like it, but you know. So this weekend was Selection Sunday. That's the day where the teams that made the tournament are revealed. Here is the bracket for this year's NCAA Men's Lacrosse Championship. We're gonna do our predictions for the first round of the playoffs. All right, on one side of the bracket, we've got Maryland taking on either the winner of Bryant or Monmouth. I mean, Maryland's too high. Either right way, now. Maryland's the one seed. I think they're taking that one. Next up, really tough game. Probably the toughest first round game. You've got Albany ranked at eight and then UNC unranked. But that's a pretty incredible first round matchup. UNC's really hot right now. I'm gonna take UNC. 
UNC is so hot right now. So hot right now. Then we've got Denver versus Air Force. I feel like Air Force could win. I know this is crazy, but Air Force has had some great wins. I'm gonna pick Air Force. Marquette versus Notre Dame. And again, I'm gonna pick maybe the underdog here. I'm gonna go with Marquette over Notre Dame. All right, on the other side of the bracket, we have Ohio State Loyola. That's Ohio State all the way. I see them making it to the Final Four. Duke Johns Hopkins, I think Duke wins. Wow, I was gonna say Hopkins on that one. I, I think Duke wins it. Penn State Towson, I think Towson wins. And Yale Syracuse. What up, Sergio? It's all Cuse. Yep, definitely Cuse. All Cuse, all the way. Those are our first round predictions. Make sure to comment some of yours below. Let us know. Last thing about college lacrosse. Did anyone catch the Yale Brown game? That last shot from Dylan Malloy, that was heartbreaking. I felt like that should have gone in. Yeah, we're like right in the line of fire right now. Oh my God, oh my God. We're right behind Colorado's warmups. Ooh, beanbags. Let's go take a seat. In the MLL this weekend, the Ohio Machine took on the Rattlers on the Twitter game of the week, and the Rattlers won in overtime. The Bayhawks beat the Cannons, and the Outlaws beat the Hounds. Are the Outlaws the best in the MLL this season, again? Colin says no. What do you guys think? In the NLL right now, the playoffs are set. On the East, you have the Swarm versus the Rock. And on the West, you have the Saskatchewan Rush taking on the Colorado Mammoth. Go Mammoth. Speaking of Colorado, we're gonna head to the sidelines and catch the Colorado game and watch a ton more lacrosse. Tonight, we brought a slow-mo camera with us, so check this out. Stress level midnight for Colin right now. That's in the face! First round game. Colorado wins in three overtimes. Whoa. So we're gonna go around to some of the other games. We're gonna check out Chapman in Utah. We'll end this episode with a little highlight montage and we'll see you guys next week.